Prob blog, uh, Neural Probabilistic Logic Programming, and our speaker is Robin Menhave. Hi, everyone. So I'm very excited to talk to you about um, the Proplog R research. So this was done together with Sebastian de Manchitz from KU Leuven, Angelica Kimmich from Cardiff University, Thomas de Miest of Mugent, and Luc de Raad from KU Leuven. So real life problems often involve two important aspects. First, you have to do some sub-symbolic perception, such as object recognition. Now, this can be solved using deep learning. On the other hand, you often have to perform reasoning with knowledge under uncertainty, such as knowing that you have to stop in front of a red light, but be being unsure what the car next to you is going to do. Now, deep learning might not be the best thing to use to solve this. Instead, you might want to use something like a probabilistic logic programming language, such as Proplog, which was developed at our research group. So that's why we decided to integrate uh, these two into deep Proplog, which is this Proplog extended with a neural predicate. So what is a neural predicate? Well, imagine you have a classifier with a normalized output distribution. You can interpret this as a probability distribution. And it makes sense because often there's uncertainty in the predictions. Such in this, in this case, your classifier might doubt between a 1 and a 7, and rightfully so. So our neural predicate would then simply model the output of the neural network as a probabilistic choice in our program. And then we don't actually need to change anything about Proplog, its inference, or its semantics. And thanks to the power of Proplog, we can also natively calculate the gradient with respect to these probabilities. So the perception task is still solved by the neural network, while well, the reasoning happens in our Proplog um, program. Now, the neural predicate is simply the bridge between both, taking the probabilistic output of the neural network and putting it in the program while still maintaining a clear distinction between both um, sides. So, of course, there has been related work on this field. Um, however, often, often we feel that the logic has to be made less expressive or it's pushed in the neural part after which we have to try to retrieve it. And the fuzzy logic is used, and all of this together might sometimes lead to the language semantics being unclear. While in deep Proplog, we retain a full expressivity, we have a clean separation between both components, and we use a probabilistic logic, all of this giving us a clear semantics. So let me demonstrate this one example task. Uh, we change the MNIST task to um, grouping multiple digits together into multi-digit numbers, and we label a pair of these with their sum, so there are no singly labeled digits. Now, can we solve this using a neural network well, they're not extremely suited to do this because it would be quite a hard task. Now, dproplog can solve this. How? Well, the neural predicate would go from pixel to distribution over digits. It's also important to note that dproplog can then train these neural networks from scratch. And in the logic, we will combine predictions to form the multi-digit numbers and perform the addition in logic. Now, to really demonstrate what dproplog can do in all of its possibilities, we decided to make a little experiment where you have to simultaneously uh, train a neural network from scratch, perform a probabilistic reasoning, and learn uh, an unknown probability, probability distribution. So we did this by playing a little lottery game in which you take some um, colored uh, balls out of urns and flip a biased coin. So here our first task is to actually learn distribution of the balls in the urns and the bias of the coin. Now, we only give the program uh, visual data. So there's also this task where you have to look at the balls and classify them according to their color and also look at the coin and see if it's heads or tails. So that's our second task. And finally, we have to include the rules of the game and perform some logical inference to determine if we will win or not. So dproplog can do all of this entirely from scratch by defining a loss on the output probability and then working backwards, deriving the gradients, allowing us to train the neural networks and update the parameters of our, unknown, uh, of our probability distributions. So to conclude, deep proplog, it's neural probabilistic logic programming. It's the integration of deep learning and probabilistic logic programming. And because of the probabilistic aspect, we actually have a clear semantics and a clean separation between both components, allowing us to retain the power of both worlds. And thanks to the power of proplog, this was actually fairly straightforward to implement. Our code is also available online on the repository. So for the people going, well, this is nice, but what about the details? What about the little tables, lots of numbers? So I invite you to come to our poster. So it's a poster 118 on the fifth floor and to read our paper, of course. Thank you very much.